Testing, testing, one, two, three, check. Yo. Meow. Of late, I've really, really found the value in establishing a very strong foundation. The stronger the foundation, the, the, the more leverage you have to leap from. And so, um, kind of this physical regimen that we've taken on, I found it might be best to first start with like a baseline workout, feel out where I'm at with just like a very basic like pull up, sit up, push up, anaerobic, aerobic, just see where I'm at. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dive right in and just like bam, bam, bam exploding our body so we're out of it. Join along if you'd like, if you have any recommendations as far as building a solid foundation. Something important to keep in mind if you're interested in doing something similar is to keep this test, this baseline test, very simple and reproducible and just universal. So if you're on the other side of the country and you wanna see where you're at, you can do it, which is why we stick to the basics. Push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, nothing crazy. Don't, no need to get fancy, just keep it simple, keep it reproducible, keep it universal. This one I pulled was from um, the book called Training for the New Alpinism. It, it basically looked at the Army baseline test, the NFL test, and then based on this like rough test, I'll be able to know kind of where I'm falling short, you know? Like if I can only do two pull-ups, but I can do 100 box jumps, I know what I can start focusing on. So uh, getting that baseline test so you can start really building that, that firmer foundation, that's what's up, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're not gonna do it here. We're gonna do it down there. Let's go. Two, one. <laughs> yes. All right, we have our baseline nailed. We know where we're at, we know where we need to improve. And um, all the while, I just want to remind anyone watching that everybody's body is different, everybody's mind is different, everyone needs to figure out what works best for them. That's where kind of our guiding principles for training come in. So long as you're being consistent, you're um, gradually kind of going into it, and then you're, and then the modulation, three, um, you're giving yourself a chance to repair and um, assess, assess where you're at, and then go back in. Let's go get some work done. ended that so right there but dude I know some of you have commented on the comments and asking me for to throw some more freestyles at you so here you go 
whoop de doo I'm on a flip flea free throw style for you. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I just do what I do. It's getting kind of late, so I'm gonna hit publish on this, no doubt, because it's fate. is like, I'm out. I can't rap if there's no beat. I was just getting into it, too. Half that was gibberish. Usually you gotta get through, like, two minutes of gibberish before the brain is like, oh, okay, we're rapping now. But, uh... Sorry, didn't get there. Music cut out. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll do it again another time. Night, guys.